Yeah, so um, I'm Raphael Fortin. Um, the, I'm a teacher here. I've been teaching for uh, for five years now. Um, one thing, uh, well, first of all, I have a, my company called Pixels Games. Uh, every time that I have new students, I do like an introduction to my, about myself. The, the main thing uh, that happens when we get students here is that everyone has like ideas of games that they want to make or project that they want to develop. But um, having an idea to make a successful game or a nice and fun game is this is what this is why we need the, the game design courses here and the level design courses. So the first thing that we do is we let the student be uh, creative and share their ideas. Uh, then uh, we teach the students obviously how to take their ideas and program that so we have different um, coding courses and we make them able to prototype their idea as fast as possible either in the, the engine, the video game engine where it's, it's a place that they can just put their sound, music, uh, art, uh, codes, ideas and just try their game uh, or as a physical prototype like a, a board or a game board uh, with dice and cards too. Um, after that step what we do is, uh, if the, the idea or the game, the prototype has potential and we feel like it's good, uh, we move on to the production phase. And this is where we do mostly team project. And we divide the work um, by the fields that people are interested in too. Because a lot of students come here and they want either to do coding only, or drawing only, or I don't know, uh, level design only, or they just want to write stories. So we try to make sure everyone has something that they like to do and obviously there's classes and everything to help them choose but once they know what they, they want to do we assign their role uh, that specific role to them because of their school everyone starts by learning a bit of everything and then second semester everyone chooses a little bit more what they like and third semester they really focus on what, what they like probably the last step is to uh, you probably heard that before to test the game and make sure that the idea the production the prototype has no bugs uh, makes sense, it's clear, playable, and it's fun. So that's something that we do constantly. Every time we add something to the prototype in, in the game engine, we press play, we test, we see, we measure if it's fun, we check and evaluate if it makes sense. And all the students are doing that every time they, they do something for the project. Uh, I'm Eric Vandenberg, that's my name. Um, I have honestly liked video games for as long as I can remember. Uh, my dad was in the industry for a long time, uh, and I moved here relatively recently from California. Okay, so basically, my name is Oliver Phillip. Uh, I'm born in Brooklyn. I came here when I was 18. So hi, I'm, I'm Anthony. Uh, I'm an aspiring game designer. That's what I want to be. Uh, right now, um, I'm part of the design team. Video game slash designer, level designer. Okay, my area would be level design slash game design. I want to go towards the direction of like art direction or creative director, that kind of thing, but you don't start there in the industry and I think um, environment modeling and design is where I, I could get my foot into the industry. I want to be in 3D animation for sure. It's the one job in this group that I found fun that I could sit eight hours in front of a computer for. So that's that's gonna be my passion, I know it. It's all that for anybody that wants to be a level designer, the software is out there and it's free um, a lot of the time. Uh, Unity is free. Um, and also they do make it really approachable. Um, pretty simple UI interface. Uh, I would say the most challenging part is the programming. It's on my basically just the average job. You know, MacBook, PC, it's just average. Um, when I came here, the programs like Unity had no idea that video games were actually made in like game engines like this. And it was at first it was hard to like understand the concept of all right, if you want this to work, you have to program this type of code or you have to make this type of function. I, I thought it was a good choice in, in terms of what could I get done in a, a year's worth of education. It's a lot of fun, definitely. Pretty fast, quick, but yeah, it's pretty cool.